What's up guys, Transfer Zoomers here, back with a new series, and it's called Sheffield's Wednesdays. And to talk about this with me, I'm with Gian. Hello. Welcome to our new Hello. series where we talk about Sheffield Wednesday. I'm still on international break, we, man. I'm we, still on international we break. Don't call me back. We are Sheffield Wednesday. Wednesday fans, that's right. Let me explain why. Okay, hello. I hope you know that Leicester are winning the Barclays Premier League right now. And I hope that you know that Leicester are owned by Thai people. Particularly Vichai something who owns King Power. Uh, Chermais. Chermais. Hmm? Chermais. <laughs> the Chermais. <laughs> he is the owner and the Chermai of Leicester City. Uh, and he owns a duty free company called King Power, which sponsors the stadium, hence the name King Power Stadium. stadium. And this Mr. Vichai took over the club when they were in the championship. And while the majority of Leicester fans now, well, okay, I'm going to say that majority of Leicester fans have been supporting them for a long, long time. And then suddenly this year we have a huge influx of oh, glory hunting support. And Liverpool fans. And there's a difference, different layers, I'd like to say, of, of Leicester. Thai Liverpool fans now. <laughs> yes. No. I can see that badge sticking out. There's, there are many people like us who just want Leicester to win the league. We fall in that category. Many people fall in that category. They're not Leicester fans, but they every just, every they, te- every person that's not Tottenham that's or Arsenal fan wants Leicester, Leicester to win. win. And some Tottenham fans because it doesn't it doesn't do any harm to be yeah, honest. Not nothing at all. And this is like the best rags which is sort of story ever. So, of course, Leicester have the support of that. And they now have another, Jamie another, another another tier is us in Thailand because we are supporting Leicester because it brings recognition to our country and I mean, do the accent do accent. We are supporting the power of Leicester King. No, but so people, this so is a small minority, like Egan. That's the city, the underdog. That's the city, the ultimate underdog, but we have the power of the king. So there's a small mi- minority of people that are, that are like Egan. I just thought of that sentence in the full context. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there were people uh, of... Uh, <laughs> there was a ma- majority, no. Minority. Yes. There is a yash fall of people. Yash fall is a minority. Yes. There's a minority of people that support Leicester and have been for a long time, since they got first taken over by a Thai, Thai person. They've, there's been support for Leicester here in Thailand for a while now. And I mean, even last year, we really wanted Leicester to stay up in the Premier League when they played Chelsea, and Chelsea were already a few points clear. I said, I don't mind if Leicester win this game now because... Because... Uh, I would rather Chelsea them stay up and Chelsea league. already well we hadn't sealed there at that point, but it was, well, it was pretty obvious. safe. It was pretty obvious, pretty safe. And Leicester I said, Well we might as well I I'd rather have Leicester win this game because they but can it's stay Chelsea. up. But it is Chelsea, but I still want Leicester win the Gibson could stay up. So we have been supporting Leicester for a bit. I mean, we're, we're not justifying our glory hunting of Leicester. In fact, we're not even glory hunting Leicester because we're not calling ourselves Leicester fans. We're, we're calling, calling ourselves us Sheffield Wednesday, Wednesday fans. Wednesday fans, uh, because Maybe in five years, maybe in ten years, maybe in two years, maybe in two years, maybe next maybe year, maybe next year, Leicester will fall off and they'll be replaced by, by Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday as the number one supported club in Thailand. Sort of number one glory hunted club in Thailand, and we can and say, we can say well, and we, we were can not have glory we can have a record of it. This is we recorded supported March Sheffield March twenty third twenty fourth twenty fourth two thousand sixteen. We became Sheffield Wednesday fans. And we have a record of saying we supported them. And we will have a one-year anniversary for when we're... Which is the day after my death. Yeah. So a one-year anniversary of the day we became Sheffield Wednesday so fans. So now, now I have to get to that two anniversaries now. Shit. All right, so... But what's, what's the anniversary of TR? Because I know the podcast is June 10th. December 30th. December 30th. No, December Really? This is the last no, day of the year? No, like, no, shit, no, no, years no, 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 no. No, it was not. It was not. It was not. Okay. It was December... 21st December 21st when TR was created June 10th I believe is the podcast anniversary alright but let's get into a series so basically what we do is where we talk about Sheffield Wednesday each week so let's talk about last week against Charlton Charlton are Charlton are garbage <laughs> Charlton is garbage Charlton okay. are always garbage terrible except when, except when Alan Kerber used to manage them yeah. but right now I mean the first goal came from a header lovely header right Mm-hmm. and 1-0 up. We went 1-0 up. We. We, yes. <laughs> we went 1-0 up against Charlton. Good goal. And Second goal of the header. And a we, rebound. I mean, the amount of opportunities we had in that match was just ridiculous, mm-hmm. to be honest. I mean, we were all over Charlton. Yeah. I mean, some of, some of the opportunities we had, okay, maybe we should have finished them, but still, Charlton, Charlton had nothing. They just counter-attacked twice. 
but they didn't they didn't finish at all. We could have scored a bit more, but they just never they they couldn't finish at all. And the game ended three 0 so we won it, and we still remain in the playoff position. And Six place in, in the league. We need to we need to win the playoffs. That's all I can say. And we're gonna drag drag back a little bit. The, the owner of um of Sheffield Wednesday is named Chancery. So close to my own last name. The letter is a little bit rearranging, and you get Jan's last name has changed. In my father's lifetime, my last name has changed because Thailand is not a very sane place. That's all I can say. It's not a very sane place. But back to the topic. We have looked up on this man, Chan Siri, and that sounds really creepy. No. <laughs> okay, we start. Uh, Chan Siri's uh, family is the they they're in Thailand and they are the largest producer of tuna in the world, and they own Sheffield Wednesday. This is a fun fact putting out there. So the it's a Thai half, person. I'm gonna get my halftime tuna when yeah, I go to Sheffield. Yeah. yeah. Right. Gonna get my halftime tuna. Exactly, and he's bought a hundred percent of the club from Milan Mandarich for thirty-seven point five million pounds. And target target promotion by next year. He might even oh, be a year ahead. He wants he wants to get promoted next year. And he might even be a year ahead. Yeah, I think I honestly think we can we can make it up this year. Yeah, I mean we win the playoffs. That's all yeah, we need. I mean to the do. shocking thing is thirty-seven point five million is less than some, yeah, some players clubs. cost. Yeah, and. If he used to make it the Premier League, how much it will cost then? It's unbelievable. So and the TV deals. The TV deals. TV deals as well. It'll be and ridiculous. So, I mean... Thai news will go insane. Let's do uh, And Sheffield... Thai Dabi. Thai Dabi. Yeah. I, I want to watch Thai Dabi. You know? I, mean, I can't wait. I mean, in the Champions League this weekend, you'll see the... Oil, um, not this weekend. In, in April. You will see the oil derby between PSG and Manchester City. Yes, indeed. So, but, but here in Thailand, we will have... The Sheffield duty no, the free, Thai derby. duty free versus tuna. Yes, and don't even like. Uh, no, but really, Thai derby, most fan TV rating in Thailand. All right, let's go back to Sheffield's week. So let's see who we're playing next week, and let's talk. Let's let's make some predictions. All right, so Gian, would you like to predict? Playing Huddersfield away, no? Huh? True. Yeah, we're playing Huddersfield away, um, I, and what are you, what are your thoughts on this, Gian? Need to win. If it's so tight in that table right now, barely in that, barely safe in, in the um, in the championship standings right now. So it's gonna happen. We right. We just need to get as many points as we can. Middlesbrough are running away with the league. Middlesbrough, I mean, Mid- no, so Burnley. no, Burnley, Burnley are Middlesbrough, Brighton, and are quite a way ahead of, of Hull and Derby, who are taking up the spot. So we've got to keep up. Keep it up. Cardiff, keep up Ipswich, with... and Birmingham are going to... But look, look at that. Middlesbrough have a game in hand. Yeah, they, they do. They could get the automatic spaces just as yet. So do Hull. That's the only thing. We we can catch... I just... I, I, just, think, I think Middlesbrough are to make, We don't want Cardiff coming back, man. I mean... Yeah, Cardiff, Ipswich, and Birmingham all have a reasonable chance. We don't chance. need Stephen Tan. We need Chancery. Vincent Tan. Vincent Tan. We need Chancery. Chancery. Charlton, of course, are getting relegated. Fulham, I think, have been shockingly poor. This season, but Huddersfield are not doing too well either. They're sixteenth. Yeah, but I mean, it's eventually we're gonna get to those games where we have to win, and that, that comes like the Cardiffs, the Birminghams, the Ipswiches. Birmingham, 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 yeah. Birmingham. God dang it! We we do play um, Ipswich, but Blackburn. On that April 16th. I feel Blackburn's gonna be the toughest game. Yeah, out of all the rest, I mean, Bristol City. Where are they? Bristol City. I don't think they're doing too well either. But I just, I just feel. Um, the Blackburn one will be a challenge. I feel we can move up to fifth, in all honesty. I feel fifth is where we're going to go. I mean, Black Blackburn are pre- 14th, but they're still a strong team. But even making the playoffs, it's not very certain we're going to make it through. But but still, I still have a good chance, because if we make the playoffs, we we have to Two play. Two games away. Yeah, we only have... The teams we play are Middlesbrough, Hull City, Derby. So, I, I feel that the playoffs... I mean, you don't... It doesn't... The thing with the playoffs is you don't have to have played amazing that whole season. It's just how you play in those two matches that determines who makes it to to the Premier League. And I feel that we just need we just need to win those. That's it. We just need to win. That's all we need to do. We don't need to accumulate any points in the playoffs. We just need to win. So we just gotta win. All right. So it's looking at 
Sheffield, of course, they're, they're, uh, Sheffield Wednesday is the best team in Sheffield. Sheffield United also as well are... Um, not, no, they're not the best. No, Sheffield Wednesday are the best. Forget Sheffield United. Forget Sheffield United. Uh, there's a new club being formed in Sheffield. You want to talk about that for a bit? No. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's not I related like to this. Wednesday. It's not related to this at all, is it? We're running out no. of things to talk about. Let's, we got to talk about Sheffield Wednesday, not about other Sheffield clubs. All the Sheffields. No, we are, we are a Sheffield Wednesday fan. Wedding, wedding is day. Do it. All right, so we did, we'll be doing a career mode with the Sheffield Wednesday soon. So we'll probably learn the team better by then. Once from FIFA, from FIFA, we'll learn the team better. Um, but I mean, look at look at how how close they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that close. Leicester is very close to Derby, but Sheffield is pretty far away from Leicester. I mean, they're not they're not they're not increasingly they're not incredibly far away, but still pretty far. It's excessively dumb. So that's it, pretty much, for the first episode for um, our... Sheffield Wednesdays. So yeah. we'll probably learn the team more for next time. We're going to actually... Yes, we're going we're gonna to learn the team. We're going to have a career mode with them. So check that out on the TR Gaming channel. But yeah, this was it for episode one of the day we became Sheffield fans. Sheffield Wednesdays, episode one is concluded. It's not going to take off, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. See you later, guys.